Hello everyone. Welcome to my channel Biochemistry Concepts. This video is about rickets which includes what causes rickets, what are the different features and types of rickets. The cause for rickets is vitamin D deficiency. Vitamin D deficiency occurs in people who are not exposed to sunlight properly due to nutritional deficiency of calcium or phosphate due to mal absorption of vitamins like in case of obstructive jaundice and steatorrhea high phytate content in the diet may reduce the absorption of vitamin abnormality of vitamin d activation due to liver and renal diseases deficient renal absorption of phosphates features of rickets the main features or classical features of rickets are soft and pliable bones so this is due to poor mineralization as a result of poor absorption of calcium so here bone growth is markedly affected mainly the weight bearing bones they are affected the femur tibia and fibula are deformed especially when child begins to stand resulting in the characteristic bowing of legs other main features of rickets are a large head with protruding forehead ribs skew beaded appearance which is also called as rickety rosary chest gives a pigeon chest appearance knock knees the ankles knees wrists and elbows are swollen due to swelling of epiphyseal cartilages delay in teeth eruption and deformed teeth low plasma levels of calcium and phosphorus and high alkaline phosphatase levels are seen coming to types of rickets apart from the classical rickets there are different types of rickets like renal rickets vitamin d resistant rickets and hypophosphatemic rickets renal rickets or renal osteodystrophy the last step in the activation of vitamin d takes in the kidneys by the action of enzyme 1 alpha hydroxylase in chronic kidney failure synthesis of calcitriol in kidney is impaired and calcium absorption is impaired due to this deficiency of calcitriol occurs which leads to hypocalcemia and hyperphosphatemia hypocalcemia leads to increase in the pth activity parathyroid hormone which acts on the bone to increase the calcium levels so consequently there is excessive bone turnover and structural changes that occur in the bones so due to mobilization of the calcium from the bones it leads to weak and pliable bones vitamin d resistant rickets so as the name indicates this disease does not respond to treatment with vitamin d so this is due to defective vitamin d receptors so vitamin d e is present but this vitamin d cannot mediate its action by increasing the gene expressions so whenever the receptors are not present this vitamin d cannot bind with the receptors and without that it cannot mediate the expression of the particular gene which is responsible for producing the calcium binding protein the important functions of calcium binding protein is it is involved in the absorption of calcium from the intestine so without calcium binding protein calcium is not absorbed from the intestine and without calcium bones are not properly formed and that leads to rickets hypophosphatemic rickets it mainly results from defective tubular reabsorption of phosphate 